Welcome back to London Beautiful Life. Today we're at the Prince of Wales in Jury Lane for Jack and his giant pre installed press light. <laughs> again back panto time again absolutely chaos our press night tonight running around doing everything and performing so how's rehearsals been rehearsals have been good we've had a few as always dramas in rehearsals cast changes and stuff like that but it's been brilliant we've got a really good cast um, an amazing cast actually very committed hard working and it's we've been like, open now since Friday it's been brilliant is this your favorite panto to date that you've done I've enjoyed it this year yeah I've really enjoyed it. Jack and the Beanstalk's a great story and the cast are great and the audience have been loving it as well. It's been good, yeah. Can you tell us a bit more about your character? I'm just playing the baddie again, the old bag, basically. I'm just like, I'm, I'm playing the old, the, um, the queen uh, and I'm the person that puts the curses on everybody and tries to kill Jack, doesn't kill Jack and then ends up killing myself. Uh, well, they kill me. So it's just like the, the, the baddie. Everybody loves the baddie in pantomime. You know, boo the baddie, that kind of thing, yeah. So so um, you've obviously got Paul from Big Brother, obviously you're from Big Brother as well. Why did you choose him to be the guest star today? Paul from Big Brother was my winner, and I'm, I'm not just saying it, because he's watching me. When I, I watched the opening night, obviously I was in the show myself, and I, I was intrigued to see what ITV had done with it, and I think the casting was really good. I think the, the opening night was amazing, and I think, the, I think Paul was my winner, and he shouldn't have gone when he did, but then you can say that about every contestant in Big Brother. But I like Paul's um, personality. He's very warm. He's worked well with the cast this afternoon in rehearsals. And I think people love him, and that's why I've chose him. What can we expect from your character? And tell us a bit more about your character. So, I'm a cow. <laughs> There's not much else more to say, to be fair. You know, I'm, I'm the outcast cow, so... Um, it'll be a laugh, I think. It's, it's you know, it's a, it's a rude comedy. It's up my avenue, so it was laugh. Have you ever been to a panto before? I've been in a panto. I was an ugly sister when I was a kid. So, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm a natural. I'm a natural. <laughs> what do you reckon will be different compared to a normal panto to this panto? Um, I think it's a lot more close. There's a, so, you know, people will be more, a lot more involved with the actual panto. I think usually, you know, big arenas, you know, they, you can't really be involved with this. It feels like it's warm. It's like home. So I think it'll be a lot funnier and people will be a lot more interactive and things like that. So yeah, it'll be good. Um, so tell us more about Big Brother. So when, when you first came out, was it weird? Because obviously you're confined in such a small like, house. And then you, what was it like the first moment you came out of the house? And when you woke up the next morning, were you, were you confused? Yeah. Well, the first moment I came out, I was shocked at obviously the, the reaction of the public. That was my first reaction. Um, then I learned why, which, you know, whatever. But uh, when I went home, when I went back to the hotel actually, I won't lie, I was a little bit like, what has just happened? You know, I've just been in this house, just in a bubble. When you're in there, you, you don't think about the outside world. You think about your family and you know, think, oh, they might be getting on, but you don't think about the general public or what people might think or, you know, I'm just living my life. I'm just having a good time and having a laugh. We went back to the hotel, woke up the next morning and I thought I was still in the house. And, and you know, until I turned lights, I was like, oh, shit, I'm not actually still in the house. Like, it took a while to adapt to, like, back to normal life. I didn't expect it to, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. How did you guys get on the show? What was it like filming on the show? Uh, coming out of the show, I mean, it's been great. It's been a great experience for both of us. I think, for me especially, it, it's a great memory to have with Zach. Um, and that, that's the most special thing. Met some great people. Obviously met uh, a great woman in there as well that it didn't work out but um, we've made some great relationships from that um, and, and I think that's been the most important thing for me is um, Zach's met some great people and I think friends that he's always going to have and the same as me moving forward yeah no it was an unbelievable experience and just coming out really just back to normal lives for me and dad but it's it was something great to do and any opportunities that come from it will be great but the, the main thing the most important thing it was, it was a great experience to do. Fortunately, it didn't work out for Dad, but hey, we didn't know that when we were coming out, so that's life. But no, I met some great people.
great people and what a great story for me and dad to have together, you know. So what was the reaction like when you did come out from like friends and family? Were they surprised? Because you would have had to get it quiet, wouldn't you? Uh, well, Zach and me didn't tell, no one knew we were there. Yeah, we didn't Like literally anyone. no one. The only person that knew was my boss at work. So um, what was more alarming is that no one even noticed we'd gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally had two text messages when I came out. I mean, one was from a pizza company and one was from a water company. So, kind of summed up my life at the time, really. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the reaction from everyone has been great. Yeah. And, that, and that's been the nicest thing, I think, hasn't it? Yeah, no, the, the reaction's been great. I mean, my friends and family, they loved it. They thought we came across well, which they have to say, even if we didn't. But, no, it was, um, it was great. It, I think there's been a great reaction. Action. I mean, Dad's had a lot more um, reception compared to the kids, I think. The adults have had a lot more reception, but everything's been positive, which I've been really amazed because going into a show, especially ITV, ITV1, you're heavily briefed on sort of the negative aspects and, like, you do always get negative comments and opinions, but honestly, it's been... Yeah, mostly it's, that's been my mum. Yeah, mostly our... <laughs> probably our family, mostly. But it's been so unprecedented, like, the reaction. It's been great. Um, it's been so nice, so positive, and I think it's great. I just hope that continues, really, especially for the second series. How's rehearsals been? Uh, well, for me, it was slightly different because I came in very, very late to the process. So my rehearsal consisted of like staying up all night, learning, <laughs> learning lines. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, I had very, very few rehearsals, but it was fun. It was, you know, it was a really cool experience. So um, uh, I think it's it's a lot more fun now. It's like in front of an audience. You know, there's it's a different kind of experience, I guess, than like what rehearsals were. Can you tell me a bit more about your character and what you use to the scripts? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, obviously, I'm Jack. Um, he's, in my eyes, he strikes me as a bit simple. Uh, he's uh, got a massive knob. <laughs> but, he's, but yeah, he's just a bit dumb. He's a very like, he's very happy, but uh, silly. And like, he's endlessly in love with uh, Princess Jill, who, you know, he meets like at the very, very beginning and is just beside mm -hmm. and he's basically spent, ah! <laughs> gosh. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, he's just, you know, just chases her to the very end and, you know, he gets her in the end, so. Works out. <laughs> Can you tell me a bit more about your character and what drew you to the script? Okay, so yeah, so my character is Princess Jill. Um, she is the love interest for Jack oh. in Giant, the, the Jack and the Giant Big Stork. Um, she's kind of annoying, but has the best interest at heart. But <laughs> you definitely see that annoying side to her. <laughs> and then what drew you to, the, why did you want to do this, this panther? Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, I've heard so many good things about these guys before. Um, it's a great location great exposure um, and the cast are amazing they're so welcoming so nice it's really important um, so why do you think people like prefer adult or maybe not prefer but really like adult pantos compared to the standard panto I think you can just really let loose with adult panto um, sort of anything goes like when we live our day to day lives it can be so mundane so if you come to something like this it's just like you can do whatever you want no, no joke is too far it's just a lot of fun so tell me about a bit more about your character and what dream you to this panto yeah so um i always said i would never do a panto it's um just not been my sort of thing but doing an adult panto is just very different i mean like we'll address the elephant in the room daisy looks ridiculous um and the it's a really interesting take on the character because i'm playing someone that's playing daisy and knows he looks ridiculous doesn't necessarily want to be here um he auditioned for the role of jack and got cast as the cow and he's, he's a bit better about it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so tell me why do you think people prefer like adult panthers? Maybe not prefer, but like why do you think there's such an attraction to adult panthers? Yeah, I mean, I feel like there aren't perhaps many spaces for adults to go and see something and actually really be a part of it. Um, you know, I mean, the show is different every night depending on the audience and what they bring to it, what they heckle out or just what they sing along to and all that sort of thing. Um, 
um, I think it's probably quite liberating to be an adult and go and see something and shout out like a kid at a panto. So what would be your dream West End or Broadway show to star in? Or would you prefer to do a uh, film? So um, I, I started off in musical theatre and then um, for years my training has all been in TV and film. But my, uh, I said, will you still be able to hear me? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I started off in musical theatre, but um, since then all of my training has been in TV and film. So it was really weird coming back into doing this. Um, but um, I love a gritty drama, like a gritty ITV drama, which you wouldn't think by looking at me right now. But So tell me more about your character. Um, so she's kind of like uh, the spirit guide for Jack, for our leading man. So she uh, guides him through the journey, but she's also a little bit of the narrator of the story as well. And she's also a huge tart uh, and a bit of a slut, really. Uh, so what drew you to the script? Um, it's it's just camp. And it's, it's like one, some of the best things that I love about pantomime, um, which is, you know, the campness and the large characters and, and just absolute insanity, but taken up a notch because you can swear. <laughs> and I, I love that. So I'm playing Dame Trot and uh, she's very funny. She gets to interact with the audience. Uh, there's a few dirty jokes, but the Dame is uh, less, I'd say the least dirty in the show. So I kind of get to be sweet and, and kind. And, but when I do get to throw the odd dirty joke in there, it hopefully lands. Um, so tell me why do you think why do you think people like adult pantos? Absolutely. So people probably love adult pantos because it kind of gives them all the joy that they had from you know watching them potentially as a child. Like you know, pantomime is a British tradition. Um, so you know, if they're anything like me, I saw them as a child, and now you know you don't quite feel at place in a pantomime without taking children, maybe. So an adult panto kind of gives you the opportunity to kind of like live those like fantasies again, but like in like a dirtier, kind of funnier and more interesting way. Um, and then also, can you tell me what, if you could choose a West End show or Broadway show to be on, what would you be in? Oh, blimey. Uh, I would probably choose to be in Wicked, right? I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want to play a witch or, or, uh, or uh, all sorts? Yeah, they're probably just as eclectic and crazy as we are here.